at Raymond, we're introducing a couple of new models and new technologies and some automations. Some of the new models include this truck, which is a 15,000 pound capacity tow truck. We also have a 80 volt electric pneumatic truck, uh, the model 4800. I think uh, the real buzz at this show is automation and, and battery technologies. As you can see, this particular truck, as many of these trucks, are set up with lithium ion batteries. And those help customers eliminate the need for watering and they get better energy efficiencies. And, and Damien, you can talk more about that's been a real buzz at the show with yeah, the lithium. I, alternative fuel you know, sources are really the, the big buzz, I would say, outside of just the automation piece. Um, you know, from an automated platform to manual platforms, you've got everything from lithium ion, you've got thin plate pure lead, you've got hydrogen fuel cells. There's a number of different derivatives that are available, but from an inside perspective, right, you have this intelligent vehicle, it's really great because the brains from the actual vehicle management system are now talking to the battery management system. And then also if you incorporate automated charging in there, you can kind of have some of that intuitive task management, if you will, um, to really help drive that optimization of that route or productivity goals associated with that vehicle's deployment. So. And for sustainability, I think more people are looking at electric lift trucks and that 80-volt uh, pneumatic truck now gives customers who needed to go outside the ability to get an electric truck instead of an internal combustion kind of a truck. Yeah, uh, sustainability is going to be a big talk, right? ESG is uh, certainly at everyone's kind of top of mind, if you will, with the new kind of SEC regulations coming through for public companies. Um, so how can I reduce my carbon footprint, right? 4800 is a perfect example there. You're now taking a higher voltage architecture into indoor outdoor applications to really optimize the capability of the vehicle and give some kind of agility, if you will, to an operation that isn't bound by those four walls anymore. And so it's, it's really exciting from what you can capture in these scenarios.